Ah, oh, hey YouTube, how's it going? Well, I've been asked this a lot recently. Why do I have two yaw strings on my glider? And there's actually three reasons for it. First of all, I saw another glider doing it and I thought, ah, that's interesting, I'll try it out. Second reason, redundancy. So I have had yaw strings fall off before and uh, obviously that is held on with a bit of tape that deteriorates in the sun and sometimes they fall off. So in a contest, it means if one falls off, I've got a backup. So that's handy. The third reason, I didn't really realize until I tried it, and that was it helps see whether things are aligned visually uh, in your peripheral vision. So it's much easier to see two vertical lines not aligning than it is to see if one line is perfectly straight or not. Now some people put a dot up the top so they know where the middle is and they can keep things centered and it's basically the same principle as that except you've got a whole nother string keeping thing showing where the center line is and if they don't if the two lines don't line up you can visually see that quite easily whereas i think a little dot not quite so obvious especially in your peripheral vision so it's kind of an experiment i tried it out quite like it actually I just find, you know, you want to fly the glider as efficiently as possible. You have to be straight when you're going in a straight line. If you're yawing even just a little bit, it's creating a huge amount of drag and you want to try and avoid it. So, that's the reasoning. Hope that makes sense. Try it out, or don't. I would recommend, however, at the very least, put something in so you know where the centre is, so you can keep things bang on straight. What do you think, Cal? Do you have two yaw strings? What about the rest of you? Two yaw strings or one? Consensus?